Section 93 of 15,000 Useful Phrases by Grenville Kleiser. Read for LibriVox.org by Karen Savage. Business Phrases A. A request for further particulars will not involve any obligation. A telegram is enclosed for your use, as this matter is urgent. Accept our thanks for your recent remittance. Acknowledging the receipt of your recent inquiry. After examination, we can confidently say. After very carefully considering. Again thanking you for the inquiry. Agreeable to our conversation. An addressed envelope is enclosed for your convenience. An early reply will greatly oblige. Answering your recent inquiry. Any information you may give us will be appreciated. Any time that may suit your convenience. As a matter of convenience and economy. As a special favour we ask. As directed in your letter we are shipping to you. As explained in our previous letter. As it will give us an opportunity to demonstrate our ability. As stated in our previous letter. As we have received no response from you. As you doubtless are aware. As you probably have been told. As your experience has probably shown you. Assuring you of every courtesy. Assuring you of our entire willingness to comply with your request. Assuring you of prompt and careful cooperation. At the present writing. At the suggestion of one of our patrons. At your earliest opportunity. Awaiting the favour of your prompt attention. Awaiting the pleasure of serving you. Awaiting your early communication. Awaiting your further commands. Awaiting your pleasure. B. Believing you will answer this promptly. C. Complying with your request. Conditions make it obligatory for us. D. Do not hesitate to let us know. Do not overlook this opportunity. Do you realize that you can? E. Enclosed, please find a memorandum. Enclosed, we beg to hand you. Enclosed, you will find a circular which will fully explain. F. For some years past. For your convenience, we enclose a stamped envelope. For your further information, we take pleasure in sending to you. Frankly, we believe it is extremely worth while for you. From the standpoint of serviceability. H. Here is a complete answer to. Here is your opportunity. Hoping for a continuance of your interest. Hoping for a definite reply. Hoping that our relations may prove mutually satisfactory. Hoping to be favoured with your order. How may we serve you further? However, because of the special circumstances attached. I. I am compelled to inform you. I am confident that you will be thoroughly satisfied. I am directed to say to you. I am, gentlemen, yours faithfully. I am giving the matter my personal attention. I am, my dear sir, yours faithfully. I am still holding this offer open to you. I ask that you be good enough. I beg to request that you give me some information. I believe I understand perfectly just how you feel about. I have been favourably impressed by your. I have now much pleasure in confirming. I have pleasure in acknowledging. I have the honour to acknowledge the receipt. I have the honour to remain. I herewith submit my application. I highly appreciate this mark of confidence. I look forward to pleasant personal relations in the future. I regret exceedingly to inform you. I remain, my dear sir, yours faithfully. I shall be pleased to forward your descriptive circulars. I shall esteem it a personal favour. I should welcome an interview at your convenience. I sincerely hope that you will give the subject your earnest consideration. I take pleasure in replying to your inquiry concerning— I trust I shall hear from you soon. I want to express the hope that our pleasant business relations will continue. I want to interest you. I want to thank you for your reply. I wish to confirm my letter. If I can be of further service, please address me. If it is not convenient for you. If there is any valid reason why you are unable. If we can be of service to you. If we can help you in any way. If we have not made everything perfectly clear, please let us know. 
If you accommodate us, the favour will be greatly appreciated. If you are interested, please let us hear from you. If you are thinking about ordering, if you desire, our representative will call. If you have any cause for dissatisfaction, if you give this matter your prompt attention, in accordance with the terms of our offer, in accordance with your request, in answering your inquiry regarding, in any event, a reply to this will be very much appreciated. On closing, we can only assure you, in compliance with your favour, in compliance with your request, we are pleased to send to you. In conclusion, we assure you, in order to facilitate our future transactions, in reference to your application, in regard to your proposition, in reply thereto, we wish to inform you, in reply to your valued favour, in response to your recent request, in spite of our best efforts, it is not probable, in thanking you for the patronage with which you have favoured us, in view of all these facts, we feel justified in claiming. Information has just reached me. It gives us pleasure to recommend. It has consistently been our aim to help our customers. It is a matter of great regret to us. It is a pleasure for me to answer your inquiry. It is a well-known fact. It is interesting to note. It is our very great pleasure to advise you. It is the policy of our house. It seems clear that our letter must have miscarried. It was purely an oversight on our part. It will be entirely satisfactory to us. It will be our aim to interest you. It will be readily appreciated. It will be to your advantage. It will doubtless be more convenient for you. It will interest you to know. It will receive the same careful attention. J. Just mail the enclosed card. K. Kindly endorse your reply on the enclosed sheet. Kindly let us have your confirmation at your earliest convenience. Kindly let us know your pleasure concerning. Kindly read the enclosed list. L. Let me thank you for the opportunity to give this matter my personal attention. Let us assure you of our desire to cooperate with you. Let us assure you that we are very much pleased. Let us know if there is any further attention. Let us thank you again for opening an account with us. Looking forward to the early receipt of some of your orders. M. May I ask you to do us a great favour by? May we be favoured with a reply? Meantime soliciting your forbearance. Meanwhile permit me to thank you for your kind attention. O. Oh, on referring to your account we notice... Our letter must have gone astray. Our relations with your house must have hitherto been very pleasant. Our services are at your command. Our stock has been temporarily exhausted, owing to our inability to collect outstanding debts. P. Permit me to add. Permit us to express our sincere appreciation. Please accept the thanks of the writer. Please consider this letter an acknowledgment. Please favour us with a personal communication. Please feel assured that we shall use every endeavour. Possibly the enclosure may suggest to you, promptly on receipt of your telegram, pursuant to your letter. Ah, recently we had occasion, referring to your esteemed favour, regretting our inability to serve you in the present instance, reluctant as we are to believe, requesting your kind attention to this matter. S. Should you decide to act upon this latter suggestion, so many requests of a similar nature come to us, soliciting a continuance of your patronage. T. Thank you for your expression of confidence. Thank you for your inquiry. Thank you for your last patronage. Thanking you for your promptness. Thanking you in advance for an early reply. Thanking you in anticipation. The causes for the delay were beyond our control. The margin of profit which we allow ourselves. The proof is in this fact. The proposition appeals to us as a good one. Therefore we are able to make you this offer. 
Therefore we trust you will write to us promptly. These points should be most carefully considered. This arrangement will help us over the present difficulty. This is according to our discussion. This matter has been considered very seriously. This personal guarantee I look upon as a service to you. This privileged communication is for the exclusive use. This will amply repay you. Trusting that we may have the pleasure of serving you. Trusting to receive your best consideration. You. Under no circumstances can we entertain such an arrangement. Under separate cover we are mailing to you. Under these circumstances we are willing to extend the terms. Unfortunately we are compelled at certain times. Unless you can give us reasonable assurance. Upon being advised that these terms are satisfactory. Upon receiving your letter of. W. We acknowledge with pleasure the receipt of your order. We admit that you are justified in your complaint. We again solicit an opportunity. We again thank you for your inquiry. We always endeavour to please. We appreciate the order you were kind enough to send to us. We appreciate your patronage very much. We are always glad to furnish information. We are anxious to make satisfactory adjustment. We are at a loss to understand why. We are at your service at all times. We are confident that you will have no further trouble. We are extremely desirous of pleasing our patrons. We are in a position to give you considerable help. We are in receipt of your communication regarding. We are indeed sorry to learn. We are perfectly willing to make concessions. We are pleased to receive your request for information. We are pleased to send you descriptive circulars. We are reluctant to adopt such severe measures. We are satisfied regarding your statement. We are sending to you by mail. We are sorry to learn from your letter. We are thoroughly convinced of the need. We are totally at a loss to understand. We are very anxious to have you try. We are very glad to testify to the merit of. We ask for a continuance of your confidence. We ask that you kindly let us hear from you. We assume that you are considering. We assure you of our confidence in the reliability. We assure you of our desire to be of service. We await an early and we trust a favourable reply. We await the courtesy of an early answer. We beg a moment of your attention and serious consideration. We believe that if you will carefully consider the matter, we believe you will readily understand our position. We can assure you that any order with which you favour us, we desire information pertaining to your financial condition, we desire to effect a settlement, we desire to express our appreciation of your patronage, we desire to impress upon you. We expect to be in the market soon. We feel assured that you will appreciate. We feel sure that you will approve of our action in this matter. We frankly apologize to you. We hasten to acknowledge the receipt. We have anticipated a heavy demand. We have as yet no definite understanding. We have come to the conclusion. We have endeavoured to serve the needs of your organisation. We have found it impossible. We have much pleasure in answering your inquiry. 
We have no desire to adopt harsh measures. We have not had the pleasure of placing your name on our ledgers. We have not, however, had the pleasure of hearing from you. We have not yet had time to sift the matter thoroughly. We have the honour to be, gentlemen. We have the honour to inform you. We have thought it best to forward. We have your request for information regarding. We hesitated for a while to pursue the matter. We hope that an understanding can be reached. We hope that we shall have many opportunities to demonstrate our ability. We hope that you will find the enclosed booklet very interesting. We hope to hear favourably from you. We hope you will appreciate. We hope you will excuse the unavoidable delay. We invite your attention to. We must insist upon a prompt settlement. We must, therefore, insist on the terms of the agreement. We note that the time is at hand. We offer you the services of an expert. We particularly want to interest you. We realize that this matter has escaped your attention. We realize that this is simply an oversight on your part. We regret exceedingly that you have been inconvenienced. We regret our inability to meet your wishes. We regret that, owing to the press of business, we regret that this misunderstanding has occurred. We regret that we are not in a position. We regret that we are unable to grant your request. We regret the necessity of calling your attention. We regret to be compelled for this reason to withdraw the privilege. We regret to learn that you are disappointed. We remain, dear sir, yours faithfully. We remain, gentlemen, with thanks. We shall await your early commands with interest. We shall await your reply with interest. We shall be glad to fill your order. We shall be glad to have you tell us frankly. We shall be glad to render you any assistance in our power. We shall be happy to meet your requirements. We shall be indebted to you for your courtesy. We shall be pleased to receive the remittance. We shall be pleased to take the matter up further. We shall do everything in our power. We shall do our best to correct the mistake. We shall feel compelled. We shall heartily appreciate any information. We shall use every endeavour. We suggest that this is an opportune time. We suggest that you consider. We take pleasure in enclosing herewith. We take pleasure in explaining the matter you asked about. We take the liberty of deviating from your instructions. We take the liberty of writing to you. We thank you for calling our attention. We thank you for your courteous letter. We thank you for your kind inquiry of recent date. We thank you very gratefully for your polite and friendly letter. We thank you very much for the frank statement of your affairs. We thank you very sincerely for your assistance. We think you will agree. We trust our explanation will meet with your approval. We trust that we may be, we trust that we may hear favorably from you. 
We trust that you will give this matter your immediate attention. We trust you may secure some of the exceptional values. We trust you will find it correct. We trust you will not consider us unduly strict. We trust you will promptly comply with our previous suggestions. We understand your position. We urge that you write to us by early mail. We venture to enclose herewith. We very much wish you to examine. We want every opportunity to demonstrate our willingness. We want particularly to impress upon you this fact. We want to please you in every respect. We want to remind you again. We want you to read the booklet carefully. We will at once enter your order. We will be compelled to take the necessary steps. We will be glad to lay before you the fullest details. We will be pleased to give it careful consideration. We will gladly accommodate you. We will gladly extend to you similar courtesies whenever we can do so. We will make it a point to give your correspondence close attention. We would appreciate a remittance. We would consider it a great favour. We would draw your attention to the fact. We would request as a special favour. We write to suggest to you. We write to urge upon you the necessity. We wrote to you at length. While we appreciate the peculiar circumstances, while we feel that we are in no way responsible, why not allow us this opportunity to satisfy you? Will you give us in confidence your opinion? Will you give us the benefit of your experience? Will you kindly advise us in order that we may adjust our records? Will you please give us your immediate attention? With our best respects and hoping to hear from you. With reference to your favour of yesterday. With regard to your inquiry. With the fullest assurance that we are considering. With the greatest esteem and respect. Why? You are certainly justified in complaining. You are evidently aware that there is a growing demand. You are quite right in your statement. You cannot regret more than I the necessity. You undoubtedly are aware. You will find interest, we believe, in this advance announcement. You will get the benefit of this liberal offer. You will have particular interest in the new and attractive policy. Your early attention to this matter will oblige. Your further orders will be esteemed. Your inquiry has just been received, and we are glad to send to you. Your orders and commands will always have our prompt and best attention. Your satisfaction will dictate our course. Your trial order is respectfully solicited. Your usual attention will oblige. End of section ninety three. This recording is in the public domain.